This is Robert Forsch with the YouTube channel Truth. Wanted to go ahead and show you that yes, there's a change of season right now. The sun and the moon are moving a different course above the face of the mostly flat stationary Earth. One of the reasons why it matters is, well, the truth matters. A lot more people out on the beach now. The sun is a lot more intense, a lot closer. Families coming from all over the face of the earth to enjoy this. It, it's a beautiful thing. I mean, I, I enjoy to do what I get to do. And as I'm, uh, as I'm doing this, a lot of times, either people will come up to me or just go and and uh, check out my YouTube channel uh, because I've got the shirt on and drive the Truth Mobile or the motorcycle that's labeled up as well. People in all stages of life, and that's part of the beauty of this. My playlist covers a lot of different uh, topics, including artificial intelligence, the hive mind, basically mind controlling the, uh, the population of the world and then creating a feedback loop that isn't pretty. Uh, we're looking at a population of the world that's mostly deceived and by irony and paradox, they don't know it. They're unaware of it basing uh, their their day-to-day -day decisions and their eternity, in many cases, on a lie. The artificial intelligence is promoting a godless cosmic Big Bang. And on a lot of the videos that I'm featuring, even from Jason A., a lot of powerful content, uh, they're talking about the global brain. AI knows we don't live on a globe. In fact, uh, there's quite a few of my friends that realize we're not on a globe. Right now, the uh, water is uh, coming in, the tide is coming in and up. Uh, low tide was about an hour ago. And we can see a whole lot of beach there now. One of the empirical evidences that I'd like to have you consider looking at is where the uh, where the sun and the moon are now, what they're doing. It's a lot warmer in the Midwest, a lot warmer here. And uh, you didn't, <laughs> so let, let, me, uh, let me put myself on the, on the screen here. You didn't feel yourself spinning, wobbling, or gyrating, did you? We don't have toilet water flying out on people in Australia because of gravity. Well, hello. It's just water seeking its level. That's what it does. That's what it does. All our interaction with water exposes the impossibility of the globe. Now, the globe does exist in the imagination of the deceived, which are also the deceivers. People will come out here and uh, reflect off of the uh, beach, off of the wet sand, and the reason why the contrast is so powerful right now is because of the, uh, the sunlight hitting the people and then reflecting just perfectly up this way. Well, I, I shouldn't say perfectly, beautifully. So people reflect on their, off of the sand, off of the water. <clears throat> they reflect on their past, present, future. A lot of people are trying to escape from their reality through uh, chemical adventures, uh, some using psychedelics, some, use, some get a hip replacement and a heroin addiction, wondering what in the heck happened to them. So I expose the pharmaceutical industrial complex, the medical industrial complex, Go into the bank and get a mortgage. They just added digits to a bank account and created a debt slave. 
of course, unless you've got a cash cow in your garage or a money tree in your backyard, we got to play the Monopoly game. So the people that are in opposition, the very wealthy, powerful people, actually are buying their they're buying their influence of us with money they create out of create out of thin air. They enslave humanity, uh, move uh, business and industry around the world in a way that suits them, a manner that suits them for their control of us. Uh, this used to be an area of a lot of textile uh, creating, and uh, a lot of that dried up. There's. Uh, look at Detroit. Look at the pockets of poverty around the country and what happens as a result of, of activity that is uh, illegal. It's just not in the best interest of the population. Our government officials have not been uh, working for our government. They're working for a, a world government that wants to reduce the population. So they don't care whether uh, the drug addiction is satisfied by the drug dealer on the corner in a brown paper bag or a, or a paper bag that comes from a, the CVS or the Walmart. And vaccinations, as Bill Gates says, if we do a good job with the vaccinations, we can reduce the population of the world. Genetically modified corn and other products that allow toxic chemicals that cause cancer to be added into the food supply. In the case of corn, it's the base food uh, constituent for our almost our whole food supply. Whether it's uh, corn-fed chickens, cows, pork, or the high fructose corn syrup in the uh, beverages. So I'm sure with the Logan Paul video, there was probably uh, Red Bull and Mountain Dew flying out of the nose of some of the some of the teens and maybe even adults that uh, watched it. A bit ridiculous, of course. I was uh, creatively edited out when I mentioned that when I finally was born again and did what Jesus created me to do, He gave me a passion, purpose, a perspective, eternal perspective, and the power to do what I previously didn't have before. That's why being set free from a life of addiction is such a powerful evidence. That's not the only evidence of the reality of God. Uh, as the Holy Spirit blows through humanity and gives new life to His children, it's an awesome, awesome thing. Uh, there's a renewing of the mind. I'm not the guy that I was. That's a big deal. That's a really big deal. So I knew the difference between right and wrong when I was uh, wrestling with a lot of addictions. The thing of it is, I didn't have the power to do what I know I should do. If you're struggling with any kind of addiction, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And if you're struggling with pride, thinking that you don't need this God or Jesus, the creator of this world, or his Hebrew reference as in Yeshua, um, he goes by a lot of names, the Living Word, the Living Water, the Great I Am, the Alpha and Omega, my Heavenly Father, my Savior. It's all a big deal. Uh, this right here, out here, we've got a, just a small fraction of the people that will visit here this year. We're looking at a, probably a projected 20 million guests that will come and visit here. This is the Cherry Grove Fishing Pier, Cherry Grove, South Carolina. There's parasailing, jet skiing, horseback riding, and of course just uh, enjoying a relaxing day at the beach. Of course, fishing on the fishing pier. Uh, on this pier, or off of this pier, in the early 60s, the world's largest tiger shark at that time was captured from this pier. Almost 2,000 pounds of shark. 
I posted some videos, one of them where I was uh, in a dry suit uh, down at the point about uh, a couple years ago. And uh, we did have a eight foot um, bull shark captured, caught and released after they cut his head off. I hope you don't have a problem with that. A bull shark can kill a person very easily. They have. It's a man killer. They, they might just be wanting to check you out, uh, but they do it with their teeth. So one of the things that happens is, it, especially the, the youngest group of people, the all ages recognize my shirt, uh, the, the Truth logo, the YouTube mobile app logo, and uh, I see them. They're, they're rubbernecking on it. And they ask me if I'm a YouTuber, and I say I sure am. And uh, it's an opportunity for them to learn a lot about uh, the world that we live in. I've put hashtag exit matrix and uh, hashtag AI and deceived. If you were deceived, how would you know? How would you get out of that? Because by irony, the deceived individual is unaware of their, dis their, their fate or their situation that they are deceived. Now, Here's one of the things about that. Pride is a powerful catalyst for deception. Uh, there's a, a sea of deception all around us. It's relatively ubiquitous in the mass media that's being uh, per, uh, projected onto humanity and controlling much of what we see, hear, think, believe. Seeing is believing. What? What do we see? What do we believe? I show simple examples of water seeking its level, whether it's in my water jug or uh, the water at the ocean. The water exposes the impossibility of the globe. The reason why it matters is because, well, the short answer, of course, once again, the truth matters. And it's an indicator that we've been lied to on epic proportions. A very small percent of the hundreds of people I've asked about Santa Claus, if they believe the Santa Claus lie, very few people have said, no, I didn't believe that. I did have uh, one of my friends said that she didn't believe it, Bethany Joy. What she said was she, she wasn't taught that. However, there was a lot of pre peer pressure to not divulge that that was a deception. Interesting, isn't it? So when we were homeschooling parents, and I worked at a full-time uh, Christian ministry, Rawhide Boys Ranch in uh, New London, Wisconsin, volunteered at a mega church, Christ the Rock in uh, Menasha, Wisconsin, I did not know that there was a global deception, a global lie. <clears throat> that in fact the globalists were perpetuating one of the grandest deceptions ever. Why? Well, to basically uh, evict God from the reason for our existence. <coughs> Excuse me. Like uh, a celestial sneeze. A godless cosmic big bang. How about that? The thing of stardust, as Carl Sagan said. If you look at the moon landing, you'll see that, and, and look at NASA in particular, it's a deceptive organization that has a high concentration of artificial intelligence. If you look into the, the AI, artificial intelligence, and the matrix, I'm not saying we live in a computer tower, I'm saying we're living in a computer programmed reality. This is real and it's really important to get it right. According to the words of Jesus, he says, unless a man is born again, he won't even see the kingdom of heaven. I'm living in it right now. He says the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Now that I'm actually born again, 
I'm not afraid to live, die, or tell the truth, or be made fun of by the most subscribed YouTube channels in the world. Isn't that special? I'm built for this kind of thing. Part of my psychiatric evaluation, uh, uh, a psychiatrist said, you appear to like attention, whether it's positive or negative. Yeah, yeah, because when I tell the truth and I'm made fun of by the deceived, well, that's a positive thing. And then when I'm affirmed by those that realize I'm telling the truth to a deceived humanity and I'm brave enough to do that, that's a good thing. It's just a matter of perspective. It's how we look at it. And I, I tell you this because I, I, want, I want you to be able to have that same awareness that when a deceived person is mocking and making fun of you or others, it's an evidence that they in fact are deceived. That's the point of that. So I'm not just trying to amass the most powerful content I can to expose this. I'm wanting to mobilize, uh, to, to be part of the mobilization of a team of people that will uh, be brave enough to continue doing this even though it's not popular. The, the truth is not determined by popular opinion. The truth is quite frankly not popular. People give lip service to loving the truth. Do they? Really? 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 says they refuse to love the truth and so be saved. For this reason God sends them a powerful delusion. So what does that look like? Looks like a whole lot of people are deceived and don't love the truth. However, it's not over yet. If they get anywhere around me, they'll have an opportunity to, to know that I care. I care about what happens to people forever. God is not a cosmic killjoy taking the fun out of life. Yeah, I tried satisfying myself, taking matters into my own hands, so to speak. A lot of people do, mentally as well, uh, believing the lie that they want to believe. That's what happens with a lot of people. They'll just, they'll, uh, they'll believe what they want to believe, and quite frankly, God will help them do that, even in the form of deception. Because once again, think about what I said earlier, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 says, they refuse to love the truth and so be saved. For this reason, God sends them a powerful delusion and he'll use Satan to do it. I added that part. That's, the, I believe, the reality of it, though. God is in the, in the uh, reality. He, he wants to help us know the reality of the situation. And I'm one of his children exposing that to you so that you can make an informed choice for your eternity. God's Word tells us what has happened, significant events in human history like the Great Flood. He also, uh, in, the, in the form of prophecy, told us what would happen, and then there has been fulfillment of a lot of prophecy. There's prophecy yet to be fulfilled. It's going to get pretty difficult. Revelation 13 talks about a time where nobody will be able to buy or sell without the mark of the beast. Could very well be a, a digital means of identification and, and uh, participation in the beast system of commerce. Think about it. We're there right now. We can see it in the, in the headlines. I do. That's why I do this. I'm exposing it. So there are people that are very prolific in the Flat Earth Movement. And what what's a bit different, or I should say, one of the things that I bring to the table is I've been creating an audio Bible and sharing it for about four years now. Merge with the beauty of creation. You can see it. It's, it's spectacular. Sunrises, sunsets, 
I have uh, some content that I've created and I comment on. Other times I'll just create the content and let the birds and the waves and the wind do the, uh, do the sound, do the talking. So when I see the, the families with the children coming out here, how many of those children are going to be assaulted with deception and chemicals in the form of vaccinations that are going to cripple them for life, creating a dependence on their parents, and then the parents dependent on the system to provide treatment that's going to further harm them? That's what's going on. Whether it's with pharmaceuticals, vaccinations, it's all over the place. It's criminal. I'm outing the whole thing. That's why I'm encouraging people to exit the matrix. Know what it is. And I'm, I'm showing that on my channel. Now there's other content creators that have powerful documentaries that are on my channel and we may have uh, different uh, ideological or spiritual perspectives. I'll still share the, the documentary in a lot of cases. You're gonna, I, I believe God's grace is required to love and believe the truth, let alone find it. That's why I'll do that. I have, so in, to be intellectually honest, as I dis expose the deception and share the truth about that, it's going to be intermingled on my channel. Not intentionally, I just don't, there, are, there is certainly mystery about the world that we live in. I'm trying to have a high concentration of truth, therefore reality about it all. I know the video quality of the, my live Facebook broadcast isn't quite what I would like it to be. What it does though is it, it sends out a notification process where people all over the world that I am not even connected with may drop in on my broadcast. A lot of those people I've become friends with because they've expressed an interest in it. When somebody decides that they don't any longer want to be friends with me and uh, that happens then what I'll do is I'll go to one of my live feeds or uh, one of the videos I've created and add people out of that like the the uh, local sun video by infinite earth flat earth <clears throat> research I I shot a video of the sun apparently in the clouds it's been viewed about 700,000 times now and I've got probably a thousand friends out of there, friends and followers. The Logan Paul uh, video, he, he might be watching me. I would think he is. I don't know. See what I'm going to do with what happened there. I'm not all angry with him. Um, I can't, I don't believe anybody can see my comments on the video. Nobody's acknowledging him. For gosh sakes, I'm the guy he, he uh, really uh, put on the spot, right? You ever been put on the spot? How about put on the spot by millions of people? I'm at about 35 million views now. Good. Good. Take a look at my channel. See what I'm about. I'm about caring what happens to people for eternity. That's why I do this. So my, my comfort is insignificant compared to the reality of exposing the truth to a humanity that I want to reach out to. So in a, just in, in the event of the, the Logan Paul mockumentary, uh, there's five million more people that I was able to uh, reach out and touch. Um, and, and there were brilliant explanations of our reality by other people that were at the, at the conference. Wonderful. Many of them have reached out to me and been very encouraging. I appreciate that. Because I, I basically expose the truth and the reality of what's going on in the world. 
as best I can, as best I'm aware. I may become aware of more issues. Please uh, feel free to send them to me, private message them to me. I, a given day I may have a thousand notifications. That's absolutely mind-blowing. I, I don't get to all of them. The water's warmed up quite a bit. The, uh, the fish are over here, uh, which is what's drawing these birds in. So I've, just to let uh, you know, on the Facebook broadcast, I've got the P1000 also operating for more clarity of the video. And, and also an added feature of being zoomed in.